I'm Yolande Poirier from Oracle Technology Network and I'm here today at DevOx UK talking to Milton Smith. Milton, hi. hi. Uh, so Milton, tell us what you do at Oracle. So I am a senior principal security PM for Java Platform Group and uh, I manage security for uh, all the products, uh, Java products, pretty much except for uh, uh, EE. So a lot has been going on with uh, Java uh, regarding security. So what are some of the remediation? Yes. Yep. So we've done a lot of things and uh, been quite busy. Uh, a lot of information is uh, available publicly, um, uh, so the public can see, um, you know, what our progress has been in uh, the number of bugs and severity of bugs that we fixed, um, number of CPUs that we've delivered, and security alerts and uh, turnaround time on on getting these things fixed. So I think uh, I think everybody, well, I hope everybody would agree that it's um, it's definite progress. So, what are some of the important recent updates? So, I guess most recently uh, would be um, uh, Java 7 Update 10 in December. Um, so, in, in 7 Update 10, we introduced a security slider, which um, allows uh, browser de people that have um, Java operating in their browser to, um, to change their security settings. Uh, to, to their preference and uh, we also introduced a checkbox that allows um, folks to uh, either enable or disable Java um, very easily. So you introduced also the applet uh, code signing, so tell us about it. Yeah, so that is coming up for April, uh, very important, uh, but we, we have gotten some word out, but we still continue to, to try to get some out. But uh, code signing is very important because it uh, you know, helps to um, establish a web of trust for uh, Java desktops and, um, and hopefully keep users safer. And um, we, in order to affect the best user experience, people really need to have their applets signed. Uh, it's not a strict requirement that applets be signed, but we are, the, the dialogue messages that people receive are definitely more friendlier for, uh, for signed apps. So, that, so it's not a requirement, but it's certainly encouraged. Yeah. You also announced that at Java One you will maybe have a track there. So yeah, so that's that's very new as well. Um, you know, I think one of the challenges with security here is uh, you know there's definitely things that we can do at Oracle uh, to make Java stronger, but really security is a industry challenge, and it takes collaboration. And so we um, you know, in looking through things last year, um, I discovered that there were a number of security sessions. And so I brought it up to the conference folks and said, hey, let's just, you know, we're doing the same thing anyway. Um, let's, just, let's just call it what it is. Let's call it a security track. And so, um, so the folks said, yeah, okay, let's do that. And uh, so it was great. And you're giving a session today, actually? Yes. Um, so I'm providing a session here um, later, uh, just kind of talking about some of the <coughs> progress that we've discussed here on Java security and going into it a little bit more detail as well as some of our progress and, uh, and, and a little bit more detail about Java 1 and things like that. So, and the session will be recorded, I assume, and be on Parlays as well Correct. afterwards. Yep. Right. So anything you would like to add or link maybe where they can find more information? Yeah, yeah, there's, there's definitely, um, there'll definitely be some useful links provided on the slides that are part of that session uh, that include um, uh, information about the code signing mm -hmm. and uh, also about different policies and things about Oracle, uh, why we communicate when we don't communicate, things like that that are, people are always interested in.